Hi guys, I'm Dinesh here, back with a new video. And 2016, it left some of the worst things and good things for us. And right now, we have entered the 2017. One week has got over. And this video is for those who are looking forward to buy a new smartphone at the beginning of this year. This smartphones, we'll be discussing about the top 10 smartphones, the budget smartphones on the 20K. Um, let's start from the last, the 10th question. The 10th question will be surprising for you guys to see this phone. Uh, this was launched 3 years before, but still, this one is now standing under the budget segment because of the price reduction. We have the iPhone 5s at the 10th position. This one is now into the budget game from the flagship game. It was the best of Apple in 2013. Even then, it's the best buy for those who are looking forward to buy an iOS device at a budget range right now. It has the best camera, fingerprint sensor, a great performance, and the latest of Apple software, the iOS 10.1 running on it. What else you need in a budget iPhone? It's a best buy for those who are looking forward to buy an iPhone at a budget range. So it has occupied the 10th position in our list right now. And now at the 9th position, we have the Redmi 3S Prime. This is the best to buy under the 10K range. It has Snapdragon 430 SoC which handles all tasks with ease. The main thing of this phone is its very good battery life. The 4000 mAh battery coupled with 5 inch HD panel and the Snapdragon 430 gives us the best performance and great battery backup. It is suitable for gaming and who are looking forward for entertainment purposes and the best buy. You can buy the smartphone under 10K. No doubt. At the 8th position, we have the Moto G series 4th generation with the G4. It has a good camera below 20k range. Performance is quite good with the Snapdragon 617 processor, but does not match with its competitors. The Redmi Note 3 and the Li 2, they have excellent performance when compared to the Moto G4. This phone runs on uh, basically stock android uh, it gives a stock android experience people who are looking forward for the faster system update and want to experience the stock android can go for this phone and it has a turbo charging too which is really impressive at 20k range it has the fastest charging capability at the 20k range if you, are, if you want to take good photos and want to be the latest of uh, android you can go for this Moto G4 Here comes the OnePlus 2 in our list in the 7th spot. Its price has been reduced recently and now with no doubt this one is the beast under 20,000 range. The main advantage of this device is it, it heats up the least with the 8 inch chipset and the task whichever you throw at it, it handles with ease. The only thing which I, uh, I didn't like with this phone is the charging time. It takes too long to charge from 0 to 100 percent and the battery life it's quite good but the charging time this is the only concern with this phone otherwise this phone is a perfect pick for those who are looking for a best performance device and the oneplus 2 the oxygen os which is very light and gives you the same stock android experience with lots and lots of customization and the oneplus 2 it is promised that oneplus will give it OTA update to the Nougat version also. You can buy this phone, it's a best buy. We have the Redmi Note 3 in our 6th position. The MI, it has always uh, surprised all its customers with its jaw breaking specs and its performance at a budget range. This one is no doubt a best performer. It has a good build quality, full metal body. And the processor, the 650 processor Snapdragon, it's really good and gives out a great performance. The battery backup, it's really awesome. It has one of the best battery backup next to the 3S Prime. The camera is not up to the mark with this phone, uh, which is quite disappointing. It takes average pictures. Basically, uh, the MIUI, I didn't like that very much. I'm a stock and a lover, but some they love the MIUI and its customization features. But still, the phone is top-notch in its performance with no doubt. 
you can buy this phone it's highly recommended for those who are looking for smartphone on 12k range we have the honor 6x at the 20k range competition it appears the fifth portion in my list and this phone went viral for its dual camera it costs just uh, $50 in other countries you can buy this in india through ebay and other websites too the camera with no doubt is the best under 20k range with the help of two rear cameras one having 12 megapixel and the other 2 megapixel it takes pictures with more detail and even after taking the photos we can focus a particular part of the image and even after taking the photos that's pretty cool thumbs up to huawei for its great work and a great camera at the budget range it's really good to see phones with great camera at the budget range this phone has a 32 gigs of internal memory and a 3 gigs of ram coupled with a Kyren octa-core processor which handles all tasks with a ease and it's really good phone in terms of performance also we have the Li2 in the fourth position the Li Eco company which entered into India in 2015 and has made a major impact in the budget smartphone range with its jaw breaking specs same like the MI. This one gives us the top notch performance. It can handle any task you throw at it. The build is solid with full metal body. The battery life is only average. You can't expect a battery life like the Redmi Note 3. But it does have a fast charging which is convincing. But this one I am disappointed with this because it has no headphone jack same like the iPhone 7. Leaky Vico gives us a adapter of for 3.5 mm jack. Even then, you can't listen to songs having your phone plugged in. It's quite disappointing. If you're okay with the headphone jack, then this one is a great buy and a good performer also. It has only internal memory and has dual SIM. You have uh, two variants of it: 32 gigs and uh, 64 gigs. You can buy mostly 64 gigs. 30 gigs nowadays it's become a less memory cool pad cool one this company is a new entry into the game they have launched a couple of smartphones last year but they didn't reach out well this year with the collaboration with the Lico, they have launched this cool one smartphone this one is really cool like its name there's a dual 30 mp camera at the rear um, and then it is coupled with a Snapdragon 652, coupled with 4 gigs of RAM, and it's all tasked with these that you throw at it. If you're okay with this brand value, and if you're okay with the performance, this phone is highly preferred for you. The camera, I believe, this would be good next to the Honor 6X. Lee Eco Max 2 got it at the 20k range after its recent price reduction. This one is the perfect snack smartphone to compete with the S7 and the HTC 10 in terms of performance. It delivers job breaking performance with the Snapdragon 820 coupled with 4 gigs of RAM. It is the only device to have the Quad HD display in this price range. The display is really good, crisp and detailed. The camera also performs quite well with the 21 megapixel sensor. It takes quite decent photos. We have two variants in it, 32 gigs and 64 gigs. You can go for any of these. Finally, the winner of this top 10 smartphone list is the Lenovo's new brand Zoox Z2. Stands in the first place. There is no difference between the Z2 and the Max 2 in terms of performance. Both perform the same. The reason why this stands in the first place is its compact design with a 5 inch display it is very rare nowadays to get phones with good performance in a compact size the battery life is good the only area where this one lacks punch is its with the camera 13 megapixel camera it's not that good it takes decent photos in the daylight conditions this one is the best pick 
if you want a compact phone with a flagship performance at 20k. If you are entertainment kind of person, Max is the best choice for you. Oh, uh, I guess, and I give these positions to these phones uh, depending upon their uh, performance, and it's all my opinion. Each phone has its own advantages and disadvantages. And I gave these phones their positions depending upon those. Mm. If you guys have any smartphones of your opinion, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button below and make sure you subscribe to my channel. That's it for all. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one.